I'm Errol Kane from Australian Marine Wholesale. Just running through the Tactic uh, mobile system interfacing with Digital Yacht. So what we've got here is the Tactic Wireless Win system. So to get this into a mobile device like an iPad, always happens, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take Enemy A183 out of the Tactic. We're going to put it into an Enemy A183 server. We're also going to add into the 183 server a compass and also a GPS. That's going to wirelessly transmit that to the iPad and it's all wired except for the iPad which is wireless but they're just wired in on Enemy A183. That can, then we've got to add power obviously to this box, the GPS and the heading sensor and we're self-contained transmitting all the data onto the iPad app. This is the sort of establishment we can put on a rip while you're running around. I know you're not supposed to use it for code for Purposes. Well, I can do whatever I like when I'm running around on the rib. Yeah. It's when they're racing, I can't communicate anything to them. Sure. Mm. Or, or gen yeah, well, like you wouldn't, but you, yeah. yeah, there are limitations that you have to stick to. The main purpose is that while you're actually racing, you're then not only watching it, gathering but down data. below, you're gathering the data. Yeah, right. right. All the wind instruments you want on Maxi or any other software you want to use, mm. you record that program then as you sail. So then after you come back, you know where you've been, you've got a track of where you've been going around the course, yes. and you can say, well, this is what you actually got when you were there. Mm. So it adds to what you're doing at the moment in regards to just... Where would be super powerful is during coaching, yeah. actually, because well, you'd be I, right with the boat. Can I show you a two-minute video on this? Yeah, of course. On the TV, I'll just bring it up on yeah, the... Okay, you want to go again on the 2000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, Errol Kane, Australian Marine Wholesale here again. This is presenting the Race Geek. Race Geek is brand new to the world of sailing. It's designed and manufactured in Ireland. It uh, combines all of the racing features you need for competitive sail racing. So you have a pre-start mode where you ping the line, it gives you the line bias, it'll give you the countdown to the line. Once you cross the line, it goes into performance mode. It, uh, you've pre-pinged the waypoints, it will come up to the waypoint, tell you when to tack, and it records all the tacking information, and you download that, and it will give you the percentage of that tack that you made possible out of 100%. It'll give you the entry speed and the exit speed, has a built-in GPS, a built-in nine-axis gyro compass. So all it needs for the calculations is wind. It can receive wind via wirelessly. It can even receive wind off a mobile phone. If you've got a wind app on a mobile phone, it'll wirelessly it send it to wind, it. Though, does it? Uh, it needs wind. It doesn't have to have wind, but it needs wind for all the complete calculations. Yep. And it'll take speed from an MR standard MR three hundred transducer, just two wire um, transducer. Uh, so you have to stick something on the hub if you want the speed calculation for true wind. You only need it if you want true wind. If you're running a parent wind only, you don't need it. Probably not, yeah. So can I wire up my tactic system to that? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely could. 100%. And can you then take a uh, wireless feed back out into a computer to store it back into all the instruments? You can, absolutely. So it has an enormous memory storage. Um, one of the very cool things about it is the power drawer. It draws 80 milliamps and it runs from 5 to 32 volts. So you can run this on a little lithium battery to charge your mobile phone. It'll give you a weekend's of racing on that one little lithium battery. Wow, it's really impressive. It is very impressive. Yeah. That's one of the biggest issues we've got out there at the moment is even with this, and the other thing is keeping the power up to it. Exactly, yeah. Because you're using Wi-Fi and yeah. uh, Bluetooth and... So this has a Wi-Fi access point, so you can connect your phone straight to it, you can connect it straight to the internet to download um, straight up to the cloud. It doesn't have Bluetooth, it's all Wi-Fi. But then you could use this as a hotspot. Absolutely. It, right? yep. Yeah. yep. So, okay, the Race Geek, one of the very cool features, the mast mount, has multiple displays, 60mm maxi digit, 40mm digit, and it has a graphical down the bottom. You ping your race control and your pre-start buoy, the arrow on the right gives you whether you're above or below the ping line. The instant you cross the ping line, it'll go into performance mode and it changes the set of parameters that you're seeing. So you're in performance mode, sailing along. It gives you the countdown to each market around. It gives you whether you're sailing high or low. It's a uh, shatterproof anti-glare gorilla glass. So this is the performance boat, used on multiple classes of boat. It's legal on many, many classes of boat. Yeah. 
and it also has a navigation mode so if you drop to below 80 degrees into the wind tacking uphill it'll drop to um, navigation so, mode so if you if you go way down there you, yeah right yeah will you and yeah. then will it automatically come back into race mode if you go back automatically back? go to performance mode if you get above 80 absolutely yeah so if they go down right we're having a talk yeah just turn sort of go to cruise mode soon, as soon as you go back on the wind so this is the yeah. navigation mode whoops i get that up hopefully it'll disappear so this is the navigation mode pinging how to get out of that Go one. Shit. Exit. There's my exit. Wine. Exit. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Um, but one of the very amazing things is the analytics of it. The analytics gives you so much to learn, and you can use it to overlay and compare if you're doing the same track racing. So you have a look as you go into the tack. All this info is on the screen. But this is what. This is what. The tack will give you entry, exit, really, the period of tack, all that sort of thing. Wow! Yes. Can you roll back on that one, please. I was looking <laughs> at the boat rather than. The I don't know if data. It, I'm running yeah, off my iPad. No, oh, it? Sorry. Yeah, just slide that back. There you go. There. So I can even I can stop. Yeah, stop you can that, stop right? it and you can move it forward. You can do whatever you like. With right. That. Okay, I didn't realise that. No, no. So you look at that. So I stop it there, and that's all the information about through that tack. The period of tack so was three point six seconds, point six, sixty nine yeah. degree angle. It's very interesting because that's a fairly quick tack. Yeah. So bumpy water, fairly strong breeze, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So for Race Geek, these are this is designed by sailors, guys that sail racing. They designed where this it, because there was nothing island. They designed this because there's nothing on the market that currently does what this does. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, I, I could see that straight away being uh, very, 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 very interesting. I and mean, I'll show you this. But and then here's the intelligence of it, right? So your windward mark gives you the bearing distance. Wow. So 79, you're in navigation, you go above 80 straight into performance. Right. Look at that. Because we're doing all this stuff. I mean, um, uh, wherever, but I don't know what we're doing here. Sorry, we're just looking for. No, that's boring. Go back. Even go back somewhere here where we, you know, this is a starting drill with three boats. Right. Um, I'll bring it forward a bit because I can. See, oh, that's right, sorry. So, for example, now you, what this would be showing, that's, well, occasionally all three of them, but yeah. th they would now be knowing when to build speed, when to get going, and you'll see the line come into play any moment there. Right, yep, yep, yep. And so this would be telling them exactly Five seconds they're all late but funnily enough I know this one that guy gets ahead not very good but yeah, yeah, so they, yeah, would yeah. Then, they would know they were nine meters behind the line they were four and a half seconds late and um, so that would be all on there yeah absolutely I'll show you something this here is I think this gives it to me oh, sorry not that one this is really good the thing I've seen, I think, since um, yeah, you've done good. So the D10, this is this is the manual. So it tells you the layout of the thing, the pre-start, the performance, and the navigation. They just go to different pages. All the bottom part is graphical, so you can go into setting options and all of them. Mm -hmm. You download the app from Apple Store, Google Play, or Windows Store. Mm -hmm. Connect to the configure to the cloud. So it. it this configures for whatever you're in. So distance to line, this is setting up your pre-start and that. So all this is on there, that's where the arrow gives you above or below the line. How hard would it be to get information from it to the coach boat? So if it's on the, on the race boat, to the If you were then Wi-Fi, I reckon it'd be this easy. Yeah, right. Okay, I wonder what Wi-Fi distance would be. I don't know, we have Wi-Fi boosters with the digital yacht stuff. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they call this guy Fred. He's yeah. the main character who accesses all the menus. Capture pin, capture committee, exit, and you've got your ping line. So, setting a fixed line, it runs through, everything's pretty, really well thought out and pretty straightforward. So you mean when you're above or below, 80 for performance, initial mean sets. I mean, I think, I'd love, I'm looking to, so it gives you your wind shifts as well. So this is on your analytics page. Yeah. So 
So someone that really understands racing or sailing and racing, this is, this is how you calibrate the compass. It's got a non-axis nine, nine gyro compass in it. So it tells you all through calibrate, recalibrating the compass. That's it, done. Settings, specifications, there. 80 milliamps running. 5 to 32 volt. Nice. So what batteries do you use? Do you recommend? I have only very briefly powered that up. It arrived at me two days before the show. As I said, the Worldwide launch is in Southampton next month. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of preempting the Worldwide launch. They know I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. They sent it out from Ireland for me to do because Sydney Bay Show is too important not to be able to do that. Mm. <laughs> and how much are these going to be? 1549 retail. Hmm. Doesn't sound bad. Hmm. Mizzou is a global satellite 24-7 anywhere in the world. Satellite communication device, that's the antenna, i got one in the box there. Right. That is app-based. This little box is all the brains. So what it does, you, at the push of a button, the keypad, the red, green and blue keypad, push of a button, it'll download the weather app over the chart. Whichever you, one you choose. Whichever one you choose. Right. You can pin drop on the chart and get the weather for that. Yep. The other cool thing is you can pick a spot, say you're going sailing, and you go, I'm going to be there in three days, and you just capture the data for that for three days, and so you only download a small packet. So like instead of downloading the whole of Australia, yes. a massive download, you might just do a 400 square mile block of weather, and it'll do them in blocks, and you can select the blocks and set up what you want to do. It does email and SMS, does navigation, and it's also got Sentry. Global coverage. Sentry the being monitors your monitor, on, Monitoring. Yeah. So yeah. You, you can switch stuff on and off. You can be sitting here ready to go to the airport and go, I really love my air conditioning to be on when I get to my boat in Hamilton Island. You turn the aircon on, you fly, you walk in your boat on a 40 degree day and it's cold. Nice. Turn fridges on and off, you can do all sorts of things. Remote monitor, all sorts of equipment. The very cool thing about this is the download. You go, oh, satellite. Yeah, it's got to be horrendous. Thirty nine ninety nine a month. On that? On satellite. So that's your Sentry device. Is that portable? Not really. No, not really, because you got your set. So Wi-Fi is your iPad. So that's more for the app. More for the app. It's it's the cheapest insurance I think you'll ever find. Fifteen hundred and fifteen dollars for the for that kit. Wow. And forty bucks a month. Why isn't it mobile? <laughs> it's just so complex, I guess. Pat. It up <laughs> oh, here we go. They want to know why this isn't mobile. This is Pat from Mizzou in Canada. How are you doing? Good, mate. How are you? Everything else out here for the launch. The mini these days. Yes. You only need power to it. Why yeah. Is it mobile? Why isn't it mobile? Because it's integrated with. Over time, it gets integrated with vessel systems. So it's integrated with the NMEA system bus. Now you can add that. It's a new feature so that you can extract the data from there. So your mobile platforms. That's a complicated mess. Uh, there, you, you know, create a device that isn't you mobile. Could build, you could build a guts that was moved. You, you could know, go yeah, from boat to boat. Anything okay. on the NMEA 2000 network. Will Wi-Fi through to the iPad from that device? Yeah. 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 So wind speed, depth. depth. And then we get a, our own wind instrument. Yeah. We bring those two and those two together. All Set up an EMA 2000 network, bang yeah. it through there, and it'll go straight to the iPad. Charge. There you go. So that you is actually cool. Already. Yeah, you can. Yeah. As yeah. long as you didn't want to integrate into everything on yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. So then yeah. the other thing is we have, add an option called Sentry, which allows you to monitor and control your boat from when you're not on the boat. Yeah, the coach boat doesn't have air conditioning. It's all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As he gets older. But it has yeah. a beer fridge, I'm sure. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nothing really. Yeah. Maybe we turn on the radio a minute earlier. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, hang on, that's a uh -huh. handheld too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, innovating with the equipment on the boat is what uh, that device does. Okay. And so it allows you to have your device, which you care about, your iPad, with mobile. The question was, how do we get predict wind on the gate? And this is the way of doing it. Yeah. They'll exactly. give you predict wind, yeah? Yeah. So right now we got. Um, oh, by the way, oh, rib, honestly, I'm sorry. Really Do you, did you have any relatives at Oyster Bay? And we're linking no. into whatever. No. There, there's something else. Are, I'm really, really good with faces. Yeah. And, uh, well, basically, what are you saying? So <coughs> we now support grid weather on the Mazu as of yesterday, and so now we can download weather for Predict Wind or whatever app you want that runs on your uh, iPad. So. Yeah.